All right. So we're going to talk about some shortcuts and pro tools today. And I think the category that these shortcuts all kind of fall under are shortcuts that help you trim things in pro tools. So I'm going to go over a handful of shortcuts today, but the first couple that I'm going to show you have to do with the grid value in Pro Tools. So if you're not familiar with this grid value selector up here and the nudge value, um, I would take a look here. So basically with our grid, you might notice that right now I'm in, now I'm in grid mode. Uh, we have our grid lines here that become uh, visible, right? And so each of these is a measure each of these darker lines and each of these is gonna be a beat. And the way we determine what note value is shown on the grid is using this selector here. So right now I'm on quarter note, I can make an eighth note and now I have lines that are twice as frequent, right? And so on. So you can set your grid value and you can set your nudge value too. So I'm gonna put mine to bars and beats here and I'm gonna make it an eighth note too. So another thing that both of these shortcuts have in common is that they incorporate the nudge shortcut. So in Pro Tools, we can use comma or period to nudge things. So if you watch my cursor here, when I hit comma, it goes to the left. And when I hit period, it goes to the right. And if I change this nudge value here, even if it's different from the grid value, it'll follow that nudge value. So see now it's going by, what did I set it to, a 30 second note? I think I set it to a 30 second note, yeah. Um, so as I hit comma, it's moving by a 30 second now. So this nudge shortcut, the comma and period, follow that nudge value. And then the other thing to keep in mind here is that if you have a numeric keypad, which I would definitely recommend if you're working in Pro Tools, numeric keypad has functionality that is hard to find elsewhere, right, um, to say the least. So if you look at the numeric keypad, you have your plus and your minus keys, and those also operate as nudge values. So if I hit minus here, it's going to move to the left and plus move to the right. And that's, again, based on that nudge value. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break apart a clip here. So I'm going to hit B to break. That's another good thing to know if you're trimming clips. That's another good shortcut to mention in this video, I guess. But um, I'm going to look at this clip here. And you might notice that you know I've used the grabber tool to highlight it. And now if I hit the comma key, it's going to move to the left. Period is going to move it to the right. Same way, minus key to the left positive to the right, plus sign, plus sign, not positive, whatever, you get my point. All right, so all of that brings us to the shortcuts that I really wanna talk about today. So if you add the option key, so it's gonna be all on Windows and option on a Mac, I believe, and now you go to that numeric keypad and you hit the, uh, the minus sign, right? It's going to trim your clip at the head, right? And if you hit plus, it's gonna trim it in at the head. Okay, so minus goes out, plus goes in. Now, if you add the command key and you do minus and plus, it's gonna do that at the tail of the clip. So this is some this is a way that you can actually trim your clips without using your mouse, which is kind of fun. It can be useful sometimes. It just kind of depends on your workflow and what you're doing specifically. I don't use this a ton, but it, it can come in handy. And the thing to keep in mind is that I mentioned the nudge uh, shortcuts on the regular keyboard and the numeric keyboard. If you try this, I'll show you. If you try this with the ones on the regular keyboard, so I'm going to hit comma here, doesn't do anything. Period, doesn't do anything while I'm holding option. If I hold command or control if you're on Windows, I'm hitting the, the what is it, the comma and the period, doesn't do anything. So this is one of the functionality options that are available with those nudge keys on the numeric keypad, but not on the regular keyboard. So again, option or alt, plus minus, and then command or control, plus minus to trim. And a fun thing to note is that if you add shift to either of these, again, using the numeric keypad, so I'm doing option, shift, and then uh, plus minus, it does the highlight instead of trimming the file. And if I do command shift, plus minus, it does the highlight at the tail end of the clip without trimming the file. So that's another good thing to keep in mind. And again, this works with the nudge value. So if I change this up to one bar and I do option or alt and then shift and plus minus, oops, my fingers jumped there. So let me do it again. Option shift plus minus, it's gonna do it by one bar. Okay, all right, I think that's basically it, but I wanna show you one more set of shortcuts. So. If you drop your cursor somewhere on a clip and you hit the A key, it'll trim from the head of that clip to your cursor. If you hit the S key 
on your keyboard, it'll trim from the end of that clip to your cursor. So those are other really handy shortcuts that you can use. For example, I might be like, oh, I want to trim to here. I hit S, it's done. I don't have to use my mouse. I don't have to like drag it around. I don't have to, you know, don't have to worry as much. So it can be a faster way to do things. It can be. Um, so again, that's A and S to trim from A is from the head of the clip. And then S is from the end of the clip. And keep in mind that this is one of those keyboard commands focus mode shortcuts. So for example, if this doesn't work, you want to go to this A to Z icon right here on the upper right of your edit window. And you want to make sure that's yellow. So for example, if I click this, now keyboard commands focus mode is off. And so if I try to hit A or S, it's not going to do anything. So if these uh, shortcuts are not working for you, make sure that this A to Z is lit up yellow. And I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. So I hope someone out there finds this useful, finds this helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if this was helpful to you. Please also let me know in the comments below what shortcuts you find to be useful in Pro Tools because I'm always looking for new ones, always looking for ways to improve my workflow. Um, if you have any thoughts on improving workflow or shortcuts, please drop them below. And other than that, um, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And if you feel so inclined, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons get access to some additional content. We are also on a Discord server sharing information on there and nerding out, running a book club that's all about audio engineering and music production. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I think you can join for as little as a dollar. So please feel free to check that out. It helps keep my channel independent. It helps support my channel. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay.